Hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Happy Friday and welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome Amiibo. So last time I tried to go to Club LOL so we could see one of Dr. Shrunk's shows and it wasn't open yet. So we're going to start off today's episode with a Dr. Shrunk installment. So because we're getting near the end of the Dr. Shrunk emotions and the last one is the best one. I doubt we'll see it on this portion of the playthrough. We won't see it in this summer portion, but um, perhaps in the fall set, the fall week of this project, we will see all of the emotions and I will show those off once I have all of them or those available. So theoretically, um, I should have, I could have them all by now, but I haven't done this every day. So, um, oh, but we're going to learn how to laugh today. So... And I know I gave him my durian that Rodeo gave me yesterday, so... Okay. Okay, good. It was a short one. I can't stand when they go on and on and on. I'm like, stop it! So... Yeah, I still think you're lame, Shrunk, but... Cool. Now we can laugh. <laughs> so that's our short little Dr. Shrunk installment for the start of this episode. I'll go ahead and show off the laugh. It is rainy today. I also changed my look finally after having the same look for about a thousand years. So yeah, I have 15 emotions to go. So if I talk to Dr. Shrunk every day for the next um, two weeks plus one day, we'll be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to start out because this was a request by somebody to show off my happy home score. And um, I need to point out, I've gotten two additions added to my house that we're going to see today. Um, I expanded the banjo room, which is going to cost an arm and a leg. And then I also added the secret room so I could show that off before the end of the project. So we're going to talk to Lyle before we do anything else. And he's going to tell us our score, our home evaluation score. So um, his options are, um, do you want to hear your score? Yes, please. What's an evaluation or no? So it's pretty straightforward. We're going to say yes, please. Um, yes, 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 yes. Woo! We hit 30,000 points. Okay. Sweet. 30,000 some other amount of points. And I haven't moved rooms around yet, so I've been very lazy about it. But, um, okay. My star bopper, that's what you like? Is my star bopper in the party in the bathroom room? Oh, man. They always are for feng shui or whatever. I'm like, um, I don't want every room to have this, like, superstition as part of it, but... Anyway, uh, Lyle will give you tips on how to decorate to get the best score possible. It's pretty much the same kind of thing every single time that he says. Um, I don't usually follow it. I don't really care that much. I don't want all my rooms to look exactly the same. I kind of think it's this system's a little bit flawed in this game, honestly. But, um, you know, you just you have to go by it if you, if you want to get, like... Um, a hundred thousand point house and right now I'm like not even one third of the way there I'm close but yeah so and he'll tell you for your house size what you should have so for my house size I should have a hundred and fifty thousand points it's not hard to get there once you cram it with stuff and that just is bound to happen pretty much without fail it, I mean if you buy items and if you display them properly like you know it as long as they're not like facing the wall and even then sometimes it doesn't matter um you know what I want to do today is all about Igly we're gonna go find Igly because I want to talk to him before he moves out um I thought oh I'll, I'll send a letter right now but uh, no we should talk to him first so uh but I have a lot of stuff to show off in addition to Igly and look at this not the ore that I still haven't picked up off the ground but look at the trees and the grass this is the first indication that fall is taking over Animal Crossing. This has never happened in one of my projects before because it never usually goes this late into the summer. Now, the first day of fall is the, 20, the 21st of this month, I believe. 21st of September. Um, so, you know, we're still in summer, but yeah, we're definitely going to see some changes um, in town. And hello, Igly. Why are you always in the plaza? So, anyway, let's talk. Ooh, 
Ooh, shout out to Bethany from Snow City. Whoa, another dreamy pimp. All right, apparently Igly knows you. So, <laughs> all right. Aw, only five days till you move out. Take care. Please don't say you're staying. Aw. Okay, good. So, anyway, about Igly, he is the jock type. And the jock type is probably one of my lesser favorites, just because they tend to say um, more redundant things, in my opinion. They tend to just talk about the same things over and over and over again. Not that the others don't do that a little bit too, but it just seems like everything's geared around like sports or working out more than like the other characters with what they say um, in regards to other- th Oh, for God's sake, Gulliver's on the beach. Anyway, so, um, Jack type are okay, but I only need like one of them per town. I don't usually um, relish in having all these jock types running around, so. Um, anyway, his birthday is November 2nd. We're not actually going to see that in the project because he will have moved out by then. So, his birthday's November 2nd. He's a chocolate boy, so he drinks, um, a mocha with three sugars and lots of milk. And he first appeared in City Folk, and so... Um, he's somewhat new. He's only in City Folk and this game. He's not in any of the games prior to that. So, um, what? Oh yeah, I have all my fossils I need to, to sell. What? I don't want your medicine chest! No! Alright, well anyway. I don't think I pointed out that Pate has been in every single game yesterday either, but, um, you know, I, I didn't... I guess I could have pointed that out, but I think it's more interesting when they haven't been in every single game. So, like, Igly is a fairly new villager. Um, okay. Seriously? I just walked around to look for fossils and there's another one. Um, Camo Frog, what are you doing? You look so cute. Where's your umbrella? You just getting rained on because you're a frog? You know, want to chat? I don't usually see villagers just walking around without an umbrella. Oh, he's not gonna lose to the weather. Maybe that's why he's just too cool for an umbrella. Um, let's go ahead and scoop this fossil up. So, I have so much stuff in my pocket I need to sell, but um, I've just been kind of avoiding it. We're gonna run down to my house because I need to show some things off. What shirt was Bianca wearing? That stupid bird shirt still? Why? Oh my- Oh my gosh, there's another camper here today! Two in a row! Dang it, Igly, you need to get out of town! Oh my gosh! It's Ricky! In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my day- Now wasn't Ricky in- He was somewhere, was he in, um- Okay, I could be getting this mixed up, but he was either in um, City Folk, which maybe he wasn't, but I think he was one of the original residents in Wee Pimp, maybe? I don't know. Oh my gosh, you could also call camping battling mosquitoes. I have been bitten by more mosquitoes slash chiggers slash random itchy bugs this year than in the past 10 years total. Like, my legs are like a feast, like, I guess, because... I seriously am like, I've never gotten this many mosquito bites before. Oh my gosh, there's a snail. We should catch it for our house. Oh! Okay, so you can only get snails on bushes, which I think are, is super cute. And I need to donate one to the museum. You can see some of these bushes are going to start blooming as well now that the weather is getting colder. So, you like my raincoat? I bought this today. This just happened to be for sale in the shop as well as the boots. Which, I already had the boots, but I think it's cool that it rained and then all this stuff was available for sale. Okay, so again, I have not changed these rooms around, so you're not going to see any difference in room order or anything. Um, I'm going to go back to the Banjo-Kazooie room so I can show off both features of what have been added. So, this room has been expanded, as you can see. And now, if you look at the bottom screen, I've got more options down here. So there's a little shed door right here. Um, and that's going to give me four different panels of storage space um, 
and each has nine different compartments that can hold up to 10 items each. So that is a ton, 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 ton of space. That's 90 items per block. So that's pretty freaking great. I mean, you're talking 360 items right there. So you can have like extensive so storage if you're a collector of one item in particular. Now keep in mind, you cannot access this from your uh, locker or anything like that. So you wanna store items in here that you're mostly gonna be using for your house, not for like traveling or anything like that. You might not wanna put like perfect fruit in here if you're planning to go to another town and sell that or like tools in here necessarily. But as far as just storage for furniture and even clothing, if you don't change your clothes a lot outside of just your house, this is really good for that. So it's fantastic. When that is added, that's the secret storage room. You also get this little option on the left, which makes designing so much easier. You see how all of this has like a little weird pattern going on um, down here? That's from Happy Home Designer. This is one of the newest additions to this game um, that was added for having Happy Home Designer. So um, you can move things around now with ease and not have to push things, put them back in your pocket, let them out. And so you can see that anything that has a plus sign on it can have something set on top of it. Um, so anything that is a plus sign can be sitting on the floor or on top of a table or whatever you like. And you can also highlight like everything at once and move it as a group. So that's pretty great. I really, really think this is such a convenient feature and probably the main reason I'd recommend the storage room. So yeah, that's, um, that's what we did. That's what we added was the, the bigger version of this room and then the secret storage room. So it's pretty great. And I really wanted to show that off because it's, it's really, really awesome. So, um, Oh, let's go ahead and write Igly a letter, and then we'll talk to Gulliver and call it a day. So, and I'll get this letter sent off screen. Oh my gosh, we need to check out our letter that I got from um, Pate as well. She sent me something. So, uh, let's read Pate's letter. It says, you know that all my money goes to clothes instead of furnishings, don't you? It's why you sent me this. Lucky me, I'm gonna copy you. So you'll feel super lucky too. Oh, thank you for the gift, Pate. What is it? It is an alarm clock. How exciting. Okay, well, we're gonna use the last of our maple leaf paper. We're gonna write to Igly and say, you're moving out. And then we're gonna sort of insult him. Big pimp is all caps moving up all right in other words it's gonna be even better when you're not here that's terrible but you know we're gonna give this alarm clock to oh no we're not gonna put it back with pate's letter we're gonna give it to igly and let's go down and talk to gulliver i'm not gonna look up the answer if i don't know it i'm just gonna get it wrong because i don't really care but um you know, we should at least try and get him conscious again, so. Gulliver has appeared quite a bit throughout this Let's Play. I'm kind of surprised because I don't tend to run into him that much. So I'm going to try not to button mash through me helping him. Alright, cool. You did the same thing you always do. Passed out in the middle of the ocean and now you need our help, so... All right, sure, I'll help you out. Okay, so... Yes, tell me what you remember. Huge clock tower with a... Oh, come on, this one's easy! Big Ben's coming to town! Okay, I don't even need to read the rest of this. All right, you're going to England! Yeah! All right, cool. Thanks, Gulliver, for being such a, an English pimp. Shout out to everybody watching from the UK, by the way. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. I'm going to go ahead and send Igly's letter, and we'll be back for more character descriptions and nonsense tomorrow. Have a great weekend, guys, and peace out, pimps.